As Russia's brutal assault on its neighbors stretches into its 100th day, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pledged to continue defending his country. The president is here. Our team is much bigger. The armed forces of Ukraine are here. And most importantly, our people, the people of our country, are here. We have been defending Ukraine for 100 days now. Victory will be ours. Glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. A war that Western countries believe Russia planned to win within hours has ground on for more than three months, with Moscow having been driven back from the capital, but launching a huge new assault in the east. Ukrainian forces on Friday still held part of the eastern industrial city of Severodonetsk as Russia poured its forces into the battle, aiming to capture the city and control the Luhansk region. Members of Ukraine's Foreign Legion, volunteer fighters from around the world, arrived in the city on Thursday and prepared to fight. 22-year-old Zurab said it is a war for Georgians as well. We're going to push Russians back. It's going to take a day, month or a year. It doesn't matter. Uh, we are on the right side of the history, so we're going to make sure all of us are going to get back home with their families and make sure that occupants are not going to do the same. Nearby Lysychansk is one of the remaining areas in Luhansk region still controlled by Ukraine's forces. Civilians there say they struggle to live without electricity and running water as Russia tightens its grip on the area. But for some, the loss of internet and cell phone networks connecting them with family is the hardest part. Our grandchildren left. How are they? How are they doing? We have no connection. The massive Russian assault in the east in recent weeks has been one of the deadliest phases of the invasion. But on Friday, Kiev residents viewing a display of captured Russian weapons in the city center remained hopeful for victory. We are very strong, stronger than we thought. We will certainly win. I am 100 percent sure.